My house was right here on Erickson Avenue, right here, I mean, a quarter mile away. And my mom was a public school teacher. And you know what? And I went to HB for middle school. Until I went to law school and took a course from Burke Marshall, right? When George Wallace, when Governor George Wallace stood in the schoolhouse door and prevented integration in Tuscaloosa, Burke Marshall was the man sent down there by President Kennedy. It wasn't until I'm sitting in a classroom taught by that man where Jack Greenberg was a guest teacher and he told me my own state's history. How embarrassing. How embarrassing to think that folks from this community, at least from my family, did not know this history. So how do we make a difference with that? Well, first today, this declaration Second, this commemoration in this gathering. But third, I've joined with Congressman Clyburn in a bill in the United States Congress, and Congresswoman Blunt Rochester is helping lead this in the House, where we will add this site to the Brown versus Board of Education site, expanding the national recognition of the history of this site. No student at HB, no student at Hokesson or North Star or Yorkland, no student in this state or country should fail to learn because that history, if not learned, will be repeated. That history, if not examined, will continue to lead to dreams deferred. And if dreams are deferred, dreams are denied. If dreams are denied, democracy is at risk. So to everybody who is part of this effort, thank you. To everybody who continues to insist on righteousness and on our keeping the promises written in the Constitution, thank you. And to those who continue to goad us, whom you elect to do better, <laughs> Bibi, thank you and God bless you.